Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to do third grade math. And our topic is going to be about adding decimals. Adding decimals. Well, this is really easy. This is a really easy topic. We know how to add regular numbers, so we can add decimals. The only difference is that we have a point. We have a dot in the middle of the number and addition, regular addition didn't. So let's go through a few examples right away. All right. So let's say we're told to add 2.36 plus 1.22. And we're told to add these. Well, we do what we would do for regular addition, break these up into parts and we know that 6 plus 2 is 8, 3 plus 2 is 5, and then 2 plus 1 is 3. And then we have to remember that we have to bring down the decimal point. So our answer to this becomes 3.58. That's it. 3.58. Let's do a few more problems like these. Let's say we have 23.6 plus 1.3 let's add these together well we know that we usually break these up into columns and then we add well we know that 6 plus 3 is just 9 3 plus 1 is just 4 and then 2 just comes down because it's not being added with anything so we know, and then we have to remember that we bring down the decimal point. So our answer to 23.6 plus 1.2, 1.3 is just 24.9. That's it. So let's do one more problem. Let's say we have 28.9 plus 10.3. Well, this one we're going to have to do some carrying over, but it's fairly simple. We've done it with addition before. So let's break these up into columns. So we know that 9 plus 3 is 12. So we would write a 2 here. Then we would carry the 1 over. Then we would add everything in the middle column. 1 plus 8 plus 0. And 1 plus 8 plus 0 is just 9. Then we would go on and do our left-hand column meaning 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is just 3. Then we bring down the decimal point right here. So we know that our answer to 28.9 plus 10.3 is just 39.2. 39.2. Fairly simple. It's the same thing as regular addition. No need to worry about it. Now, let's go on to a few practice problems. You guys can try these on your own by pausing the video, or you guys can... Go along with what I do and watch me go through them. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Here we have a few problems. So the first question is 11.82 plus 1.11. Well, we know we can break these up into columns. And we know that 2 plus 1 is just 3. 8 plus 1 is 9. 1 plus 1 is 2. And we bring down this one because it's not added with anything. And then we bring down the decimal point. So we know that our answer comes out to be 12.93. That's it for this question. Now let's go on to our next one. We have 63.5 plus 16.4. We have to add these together. So first, we break these up into three columns. So we know that 5 plus 4 is just 9. And then 3 plus 6 is 9. And then 6 plus 1 is 7. Then we bring down our decimal point. So our answer comes out to be 79.9. That's it. Now let's go on to our last question. It's a bit, it's a bit intimidating, it's, but it's not bad. Don't worry about it. So first, we break these up into columns, like we did with regular addition. Let's break these up into columns. And then we add 6 plus 3 is 9. 2 plus 5 is 7, 